Yo, what is going on? So, if you had not already seen, we did eventually pull <laughs> the Super Saiyan kids, the uh, the new kids on the block here. Um, I actually got a dupe of them this morning, randomly. So, I am taking a look at them only at 55%. Um, I'll make another video taking them into the GT event. Uh, I'll feed the dupe in for that. But, um, yeah, I walked away with a dupe of them and a dupe of Krillin, so I am totally done with that banner. This is the team we're coming in. I'm just bringing these items because I'm still doing that mission uh, to get those tickets. So, let's, uh, let's just go. Let's just see how they're going to perform here on this hybrids team. Um, I'll make a separate video also for Krillin. He is a supporting unit, but I do think he's actually, you know, worthy of his own showcase because he just does so much. Um, he's gonna make people look really good to include this unit <clears throat> So right off the bat we can immediately see their issues uh, key So, Well, this might not even be his issue. This might be Gohan's issue uh, Not ha Gohan's like not having prepared for battle obviously no, no, okay. So we're going to do this um, I can super if I probably do that uh, Okay, and we are getting their unit super attack so that can be activated as long as someone is Trunks or Goten or attacking in the same turn or if Krillin is just on the team, you'll get this triple Kamehameha. Uh, I think the only difference is, yeah, greatly raises attack. Oh, and it raises attack for allies by 30%. Alright, cool. Um, so, another thing about them, right, they get their uh, attack and defense on super attack. Now, I just by looking... 35k i actually think we got unlucky here i think both of these didn't proc uh, for it to be that low um because he has a great chance which is a 70 percent chance for a 50 percent attack and defense at the start of turn that twice those are two separate procs there um so he really could get a hundred percent attack and defense at the start of turn i am really sure we didn't get it now this whole bottom part here uh they can build up key they get another 50% attack and defense um, that you can build up every time they evade. So they start at 7%. They do build up to 30%. Um, I will definitely have dodge in them. I'm not. I'm just gonna do three dodge. I don't think. Uh, I don't see the reason to do more than that. Um, that passive's cool and all, but it really works well here. So their active skill is turn three. So it's not like you have to wait a long time to then do that. And then once you do their active skill, they have guaranteed dodge. So very easily, they're going to have that full passive build up there. So let's just hop in here. Let's see what we're going to get. Hopefully, uh, they don't kill him in the first slot. All right. All right, let's see what we get. 1.9 so yeah they that's an unlucky actually uh turn they definitely didn't get either of them the proc because they can hit i've seen them hit way harder than that so this is what uh, i don't like about anyone that does this uh go tanks does the same thing where it's like a a chance to have that buff on the turn um i wish they didn't do that and they just uh Either, all right, let's just assume they want to build them that way, sure. At least let me know which, when it procs and when it doesn't. Like, of course I'm guessing, and uh, we could probably take a, you know, big guess uh, whether or not it's going to change. But I'd like for it to, just, like, like, highlight it. Like, let's like, say that first line of the great chance highlights. Like, it flickers. That tells me it's active. And then the other one would stay, you know, bold. And I would know it didn't go off. Or both flicker. Or, no, you know what I mean? Like, I think that would be a really nice quality of life change they could add to this. Um... We're going to move this Goten off. Uh, he's going to be one of the best linking partners for the new unit. They share six out of seven links. So they actually link up. Oh shit, five out. So there we go. That's that actually right away. Yeah, see, look, now they're at 70k. So they went from 30 to 70. That's. I'm guessing right now. Now, we might have had one active, and maybe this is both of them active. So, yeah, we have to pay attention, I guess, to see if we ever go past that 70k with no support, keep in mind. Um, I think... Yeah, it's only one attack. I'm not gonna pop that active skill just yet. So, still only three links active. Once I get, uh, that Goten on the rotation over here, he'll be performing a lot better. 
So keep in mind, they do have a 7% chance to dodge. 3.5. Yeah, look at that big difference, actually. I want to say that might be with both active. Um, we may have just only had one last turn, that proc. And that was both of them. All right, and then next, um, Jesus, 200. Uh, next, uh, who do I want to push? They both do the same thing. No, they, oh, okay, wait. So that's, these combo cards suck sometimes, because right now, <clears throat> they would support Goku and Vegeta family, right? But because they're a combo card, they don't get either of those. They're not on Goku or Vegeta because they like cancel each other out. So I'm actually gonna push um, him off. And we'll do that, so hopefully we're good. We'll get some support on the next time around. He's getting 80% uh, support right now, but this is why I, this is the rotation I like, Jesus Christ, because this is realistic support, right? These aren't like, this isn't like Kid Buu on rotation who I would never bring, right, because I'm gonna die. This is two top tier support units, like they infinitely stack, so they're gonna have crazy defense. Um, if you get the right rotation for Trunks at the end, he would also stack, and he would have insane defense very quickly. Uh, even if he doesn't stack, he's still at, like, over 200k right now. Like, these are really good units that also are supporting. Alright, here we go. Uh, we got a couple attacks. What do we got? Two. So let's do this. They're... Fault down. <laughs> His big face makes me laugh. Alright, um... We got the unit super attack there. We have everything active but prodigies. Wait. He has prodigies. So we could technically put him in slot. See, okay. Yeah, 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 okay, no, no, no. This has to be 53. So 70, the 70k defense, that is done with both proccing. That that has to be both uh great chances proccing. 50k, this has to be one proccing. The 30k has to be nothing proc. That, that has to be it. So we are going to now have guaranteed dodge for this turn, which means um, we're going to technically gain key, which will help out uh, in the long run, but not here, obviously. Uh, but they will also get 10% attack and defense every dodge. So that's like, that's been building them up. And then they will also gain a higher chance just to evade, which will also help, again, in the long run, up to 30%. So, alright, we're us see. This is definitely one of those 50% missing, though. Keep that in mind. Prodigies would give us an extra 10% boost. Um, so we are missing that. But that's 3.3. Okay. 3.3 with guaranteed dodge, right? And that's only turn 3 requirement. Um, that and having a Goten uh, or Trunks on the rotation. Again, very easily with all these top tier units that have just come out. Um, see, ah, this would have been a better turn for the active skill, huh? All those attacks. I'll get another turn where we actually um, get them fully built up. Uh, yeah, there's no point in actually doing the next rotation, so I'm actually going to cut here, and then we'll come back into something uh, where I can get them fully built up. Okay, actually, change my mind, just realized this is going to be them with support. So now they're getting 40% attack and defense, uh, and 3 key. So they're auto-supering. We're going to have almost, yeah, everything active except Prodigies. And we're getting that support. So now look at their defense. They're at 100k defense. 100k defense with gaining 150% on super attack. And again, now now because other factors have been to play, I have no idea which one is active. Um, I'm guessing both of them are. That's a very high number. So let's see how they do with support, and then we'll get them fully built up. 5.3. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. This is 55%. With 100 and... Wait, what is that? 2... 
250k defense, something like that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's not, and they're not fully built up, right? We're still missing out on a lot of attacking defense from their passive. Um, that has to get built up from them dodging. So we're going to hop back in and get that fully built up. All right, so I went into Super Battle Road, actually, just so I can make sure I'm going to get this uh, to work, right? We've got, what, how many is it? One, two, three in the front, four, five. Okay, so they don't have full passive on the ending portion, um, but this is what makes them, again, just so, so crazy, um, this. So they're just an insanely good unit. So 67k, we're getting a little bit of support. Um, we have no dodges occurred, uh, uh, you know, obviously. So let's see if we can actually just take out uh, Sorbet in one go. Um, I I bet we could. So we'll do that. We'll have you attack you. And then we'll just have him target him just to make sure he's dead. So no items active. Here we go. Guaranteed dodge. This is what makes them so powerful, dude. Guaranteed dodge. 4.355%, still not built up. Still, like, more power. Like, we'd have to come around to the next rotation, uh, and then they should be fully active. Yeah, wow, one shot. And cool, please, try and hit me. Look, their number's still got 4.7. What was that just now? The ending attack? 4.9, so they're at a 5 million attack stat. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, we would, we could actually end this fight right now, huh? Uh, I don't want to. Is it possible? I don't. If I can get to the next turn, they would have their passive uh, fully built up, which is what I really want to see. All right, come on. Please, please, like, don't die. There we go. There we go. Nice. No double supers. Perfect, perfect. And there's no way he's going to kill three people, so we are good. Perfect. All right. Now, 106k defense. They have now a chance to dodge. Uh, they would have a 30% have chance to dodge, which is uh, a medium chance, realistically. So that's not bad. Um, let's do this. Let's get Frieza out of here. And let's see if, uh, if we get supered. Would we die? I don't think so. Alright, let's see. Then I think this will be the end of the video. Yeah, they're gonna take a lot of damage because they haven't supered. And then 5 mil, alright. So they're gonna take, they would take double digits now. Um, they are absolutely not being advertised here as a slot 1 unit. Um, I knew they were gonna take a lot of damage there. Oh, really? Um, Jesus. <laughs> that is a 55% unit right there. Um, really, really strong. Uh, not not advertising them as a slot one unit, right? They are definitely slot two, slot three, because they or I, they, they have to super attack, right? They get 150% defense on super, right? So keep that in mind. Um, that 80k damage uh, is gonna happen just because they're not meant to be there. <laughs> put only put them in slot one when you have their guaranteed dodge. Besides that, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, I, I love this unit. I was really looking forward to getting them. Uh, definitely was harder than I wanted it to be, but it is what it is, right? So next, uh, I'm going to take um, them into the GT event to see how well they'll fare there. 
um, should be interesting. Uh, I'll see you guys in that video. Peace.